NASA. The most revolutionary science program in history. It has brought us from the stratosphere to the moon and has given information about the farthest reaches of our solar system. In 1957, during the height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite into orbit, prompting the Sputnik crisis. The United States responded, gathering the best scientific minds and signing in the National Aeronautics and Space Act of 1958. This led to the creation of NASA and the beginning of the space race. To the United States and its people, winning the space race was the most important task yet. The Soviets were the first to send a man into space while the United States were working on Project Mercury. Alan Shepard and John Glenn were the first Americans in space and their mission was a complete success. This project was a stepping stone for the Apollo missions soon to follow. But why, some say, the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy promised the American people that they would be the first to the moon. After four test missions, in 1969, the Apollo 11 team successfully landed on the moon. The whole world watched as Neil Armstrong uttered those famous words. As one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. After five more trips to the moon, the United States and Soviet Union put their differences aside, and on July 17, 1975, the Apollo Command Module docked with the Soyuz 19 effectively ending the space race and a large chapter in the Cold War. The years to follow would introduce the Space Shuttle program, which included more than 20 missions, and the Hubble Telescope in 1990. Then, in 1998, the nations of the world came together to form the International Space Station. It has opened a new path for advances in science and technology, and will for years to come. In recent years, NASA has focused on sending space probes, such as New Horizons and Juno, giving us more information about the farthest reaches of our galaxy than ever thought possible. Even with the cancellation of Project Constellations in 2010, they have developed further technology for manned missions in space. NASA has also sent the Curiosity rover to Mars in an effort to learn about the surface and give us an idea of what humans may encounter in the years to come. NASA was important in the 1960s and 1970s, and still is today. It needs your support more than ever before. Without the imagination and drive of young kids everywhere, we will never achieve the greatness that lies ahead.